When Henry Ford was alive, if he would have taken a poll and asked people what they wanted, most people probably would have said what? They wanted faster horses. They wouldn't have even thought about that. But he understood, start with what? So what happened was, he understood that the reason why people wanted faster horses wasn't because they necessarily just wanted faster horses, but it was because of they wanted to get to their destinations quicker. So he understood that the car would meet their reason for why. If he was stuck on the what, which is the faster horses, he would have never created the juggernaut of a company that he created. He understood start with why. That's three examples of how uh, great leaders have the ability to start with why. So let me bring this back to where we are now. I don't want us so much to focus on the what and the how. I want to focus on why. Why do you want to be in the career that you want to be in? Why? Why do you want this career? What's the reason? So just like that 27-year-old rebranded Cadillac and created the, the CTS marketing commercial that changed the landscape of the car company. Just like Dr. King with the starting of why, transformed the country with this I have a dream speech. Just like Henry Ford understood, start with why. Start with why for you. Why do you want to be in the career that you want to be in? Why? Not so much how you're going to get there. We can figure that out. Not even so much what, but why. If you had to put in a sentence, why am I living, could you answer that? What did you say? Uh, That's what I want us to get to. Yeah. Like, why am I even here? How do you ask yourself that? I'm sure at some point we all ask ourselves that. This is what, you know, this is what I want to do with my life because people have different career changes all through their life. But as you get more sad, that's why they said, you know, after the age of like 37, 38, when you when you begin to settle down and get your house and like more peace of mind. I'm listening to you. I'm wondering where you're going with this one. Though. I was with you at first, now you're going to He's about 38, you get in the house. How many people get in the house at 38? How long are you living at? A lot, of, a lot of people have been had their house. It depends really? on it, it depends on like your your environment and and, and like but what is having what is what is having an outward accomplishment have anything to do with the inner understanding of people? Yeah, I'm just saying it's I mean I, I, it's, I'm, it's, I'm, it's, I'm it's, listening it's, to you. It's different it's different forms, you know. Some people get it early, some people get I I'm just saying some get what early. What is what they want to do in life and what it is they really like your purpose in life. You know? Okay. Okay. Now I I think I think you said something that's really interesting. You said most people when I said get what early and you said what they want to do. Right? Where does that fall on your spectrum? Which circle is that? This one, this one, or this one. Why? But what did you just say? What were the exact words you used? What? That's, it. That's where most people land. But then why? If you ask a lot of people what they want out of life, uh -huh. people are able to many times articulate this, and we ask it. Oh, I want to have a big house. Yeah. I want to have a successful career. I want to have a good job. I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do that. Okay. They started at the what? They started at what? You might even be able to get how you want to make a million dollars in 10 years. Oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to flip this house. And then I'm going to create this. And I'm going to do this company. Okay. Why? What's the point? Why do you want the million dollars? Why do you want to be a counselor? Why do you? And so what happens is even though some do get here, most of us are taught to go from here to here. And we never even really get there. Rather than starting with, why? Why, why do I want this? Why? 
And I do agree with you that I think that different people are socialized differently and are educated differently. When I say educated, I mean beyond formal schooling. Absolutely. I'm talking about the way that they are socialized and what is learned behavior. Yeah. But I want you to get something right quick. I want you to understand that when we talk about the why, this is a very deep, um, this is really where call lies at the why. The why am I on earth? It's a question that, now don't get me wrong, I think we're probably always throughout life figuring that out, but some people are more, have a better understanding. I do not know if we get here without being intentional. And one of my problems with the way that we are taught in, as kids and even in schools, is that it's sort of like, well, if you stumble upon it, you stumble upon it. First, the magic age is what, 18 years old. I remember when I was young, I used to think something must happen at 18 that just like switches. And I think as a kid, you think that, but I'm sure for all of us that are now past 18, you look back and you think 18 was nothing. I mean, you think you know and you really don't. And then it's, well, 30. Because by 30, I'm kind of established. <coughs> I kind of know what's going on. Then 30 comes. And it's like, I really don't feel that much different than I did at 25. <laughs> and years go on. And what we begin to understand is that the passage of time and the movement of time really has no bearing on whether or not we ever get here. Partly because we aren't really intentional. We're really not even asked these questions that often. How many people can say to their parents, why, do you, why are you on earth? I won't ask for those of you that are parents, are you asking children, why? Okay, get, get with your, but why? I want to have a why, but why? The starting with why is really where I think the, the self-reflection uh, comes in, but it's also where we begin to understand everything else around. Many times what happens is we're really not clear about this. So we focus on these things, but since we're not clear on the why, we really never even get the what and the how. Do you notice that people that we hold out as being super successful, whether they're in business or politics or uh, entertainment, sports, do you notice that they have the ability to articulate why? Remember I was telling you in the interview, I want you to be able to talk about why did you want to get into this career path? And I want it to be bigger than to make a difference. Well, that's everybody's purpose on earth. But why? Why did you choose to be a youth counselor? Why? Why do you want to be a minister? Why minister? I know why. And not an engineer. 